Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 12 on page 450. Determine the parametric equations of the line whose direction vector is perpendicular to direction vectors of the two lines x divided by negative 4 equal to y plus 10 divided by negative 7 equal to z plus 2 divided by 3 and x minus 5 divided by 3 equal to y minus 5 divided by 2 equal to z plus 5 divided by 4 and passes through the point 2, negative 5, and 0. Step 1, when you think about the parametric equation of a line, the general format is going to be x equal to x naught plus t times a, where t is an element of real numbers. y equal to y naught plus t times b, where t is an element of real numbers. z equal to z naught plus t times c, where t is an element of real numbers. When you think about x naught, y naught, and z naught, that's a point, a point on this line. And you're given the point to be 2, negative 5, and 0. When you think about the direction vector, a, b, c, in this case, it has to be perpendicular to the two lines. So you have to look at the direction vector of the first line, the direction vector of the second line, and if it's going to be perpendicular to both of these lines, that means you define the cross product. So when you look at A, B, and C, this equals to negative 4, negative 7, 3, cross 3, 2, and 4. So again, if you go back to the basic concepts of cross products, you can write down 3, 2, 4 underneath, line them up, and start crossing it. So this equals to, if you think about the three components, in the first case, it's going to be negative 7 times 4 minus 2 times 3. If you look at the last component, it's going to be negative 4 times 2 minus 3 times negative 7. In the middle column, it's going to be the opposite. So it's going to be 3 times 3 minus negative 4 times 4. You can work this out with a calculator. You can do it with mental math. You decide. But in the first component, that's going to give you negative 28 minus 6, which is negative 34. If you look at the second component, that's going to be 9 plus 16, which is 25. In the last component, that's going to be negative 8 plus 21, which will give you 13. Once you have the direction vector and the point, you can now write down the parametric form. So therefore, the parametric equation are x equal to, and again, you can line them up vertically. Since you know the point is going to be 2, negative 5, and 0, so uh, 2, negative 5, and 0. And again, you can just copy the same format. And the corresponding uh, direction vector is going to be negative 34t plus 25t plus 13t. And again, really important that you write down t as an element of real numbers. Now, because 0 plus 13t is the same as 13t, you can go back now, erase this, and just leave it like that. So this is the parametric equation of the line. I hope this makes sense.